Hello, in this video we are going to look at you know deleting and destroying our object. So we got car one, we got car two. It is a good idea and good practice in programming, not just Python, programming in general. When you no longer need an object, get rid of it, destroy it, so it no longer uses memory. So to delete an object, it is really, really simple. You just do del car one. And that is it. It's just del with stands for delete and the name of the instance object. So what I'm going to do is print out the speed of car one and car two just to demonstrate this. So it says, look right here, car one is not defined because we've deleted it. But if I get rid of that and I just do run, that works fine because car two is independent of car one. So that works a okay. So obviously that's been deleted. Something else I want to cover as well, and that's a destructor. So like the constructor, which is called at the start of a class, the destructor is called at the end of a class. And what our del method or del command does is called the destructor. So we can actually define the destructor because we have you know a default destructor, but we can have a our own one if we want to do some extra cleanup. So def underscore underscore del underscore underscore and it, it, it takes a parameter of self and now inside of here we can say it's going to print and say object has been destroyed. I don't want to save it like that. So now if we run it as you can see, object has been destroyed. Obviously, here you could have some extra cleanup, maybe if it's related to other parts of your application. But honestly, that's really in terms of the core philosophy, the core principle of de destroying objects and the destructor in Python and programming in general. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.